that in original Indian allotment, uh, they was on the Canadian River, the South Canadian ri River, and there was river bottom land there, and it was very that river bottom land was fertile, and they grew. Uh, my grandfather prospered on the 160 acres and then began to uh, add other lands uh, to it. In the uh, 20s, they were voted the uh, outstanding Indian farm family in Oklahoma. And um, my dad was actively involved in that. They had cotton, onions, uh, during World War II, we had they had uh, German, a German prison camp in McAllister, and the Germans uh, came to help in the fields. And I was there; I was 12 or so, and my grandmother would we'd feed them on big plank uh, sawhorse tables, and we had great big iron pots where my grandmother and and the her help uh, would cook the meal for them and I can remember that sh we served roasting ears and the Germans refused to eat them and said that was horse food that was animal food that they and they wouldn't eat the roasting ears there was one uh, prisoner who uh, was an artist and he did a watercolor portrait of my sister and then one of me. And I, those have disappeared. I don't know where they are. My grandfather and my father both got, uh, after the war, both got uh, letters from several of those prisoners thank, thanking them for their hospitality and uh, thanking them for being treated like uh, civilized people. Because we did, the prison camps in this country during the war did treat those prisoners with dignity and allowed them to uh, pursue some of their own activities, like the, the fellow that did the watercolor paintings of my sister and I. Mm -hmm.